everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Dejrin most people call me Des feel free to call me whichever if you're new to my channel welcome today y'all we are doing something that I honestly never ever 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 thought that I would do in my entire life we are gonna be installing let me take this girl off here for a second real quick we are gonna be installing this platinum blonde long ass lace front wig y'all like who even am i <laughs> honestly i don't know why for such a long time i was not into wigs i was not about it i was just like no never not happening like screw that but i feel like now i just have like a better appreciation more of an appreciation for hair in general and how versatile hair can be and the versatility that wigs specifically offer. The people that do not follow me on Instagram do not know that my hair was straightened. If you did watch my vlogs from my bunion surgery, then you probably saw my hair straightened. It was like in a bun. But yeah, I just was not really feeling it. I wasn't feeling the footage that I recorded for that either. So I kind of just was like, F it. And then it dawned on me. I'm like, why do all this extra stuff with my hair? and possibly damage it when I could just wear wigs, experiment with wigs, learn how to install wigs, and just keep building my skill when it comes to doing hair. I've watched a ton, a ton, a ton of videos. I even watched some of Arrogant Tay's masterclass. Like, y'all, I was not playing no games. I was like, nah, I need to learn what I can learn, and I need to learn it quickly. I may or may not have to stop and like rewatch some of the videos because my mind be all over the place. But I know for starters, I need to push all of my edges back and lay those down before I even apply the bald cap. I did have my mom do some braids on me. One of them is like super thick. I don't know why. It's okay because we're not seeking perfection. We are just seeking practice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my gummy professional hair gel with maximum hold i literally just bought this stuff today and i want to try it out so i'm going to put some of that on my edges brush it back and then blow dry it until it's dry so it actually stays pushed back and doesn't you know curl back up or anything and i have a mirror to my right here so if you see me looking over that's really all i'm doing not terrible but it's not the best so and I was watching videos and everything people were saying that it's best to get these light nude caps because then you can color them to your actual shade and this one actually came with the wig which was nice and you want to pull it down so you can see your hairline all right what's next I don't even remember I should have wrote this down <laughs> Next step, I believe, is gluing it down, right? Or do we cut holes out of it? Oh, that side came out so much better. The fuck? Whatever. Doesn't matter, not striving for perfection. I'm gonna probably have to say that like a million times y'all because I am a perfectionist and I have to really remind myself like we are not seeking perfection at all. So now I'm gonna take my, y'all, I'm still hopping everywhere because I still cannot put pressure on my foot if you are, if you actually have been catching up on my videos. But um, take my got to be glue free spray and I'm going to spray that all over my hairline, especially the ear tab so that they stay down and they don't. <laughs> get stuck back up y'all that spray is so cold please do not judge my faces take my blow dryer on a cool setting and dry it at the same time okay so now we got to tint it um, when I was watching Arrogant Taste video, it was so relieving to see that he was using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Stop playing with me. You better focus. Here we go. It was such a relief because I thought I had like different powdered foundations and turns out I don't. 
but I have this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the back of my hands a decent amount because we have to blend all over the front of the cap. Oh, and I already put some on the back of my hands to make sure like it really did match and it did. So it's lit. I only put about that much, not a whole lot. And he was saying to blend it on the back of your hand a little bit first. Because you don't want it to be like blotchy. So you can kind of see it's blended a little bit. I don't know, because you just... Oh, I hope this <laughs> Okay, so it's a little bit splotchy in some areas. Um, I'm not sure what went wrong, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. The color is not bad. You know, it's not a bad match. I'm not mad at it. I think I just had too much on the brush, and that's why it looks like that. Because now it looks fine when I'm like dabbing it. Start cutting this bad boy, and you want to get it close to your hairline. Okay, so I need to go get some alcohol to clean up any excess got to be and makeup around the edges. I'm also cutting like the excess in the back too. But it is like still covering the back of my hair. Here comes the fun parts. Installing the wig. I have to tint the lace of the wig. So I'm going to take the same color that I used on the bald cap and do the same thing. I'm flipping it inside out, so let me tilt this down. And the wig is on the floor, y'all. I repeat, the wig is on the floor. Y'all, this is like a cheap ass synthetic wig from Amazon. It's nothing special. There was no way in hell I was gonna be spending mad bread on a oh, nice ass lace front that I've never installed before. Like that just makes no sense to me. This wig was like $45, not even. Of course, I will link it for y'all below because they have like a whole bunch of different colors and everything. So I'm using some Ghost Bond glue to lay this wig down. I didn't really do it any kind of shape. I kind of just followed where the bald cap was. And then I spread it with the end of an edge brush you can use anything to spread it i've seen people use like popsicle sticks some people use their finger it's really just based off of preference and you want to get it as thin as possible so it dries white i'm just using cold air It is not giving scalp, y'all, <laughs> like at all. It might in a second. I'm getting very close, but like, I'm also trying my hardest not to cut myself. Is it giving scalp? It's giving build up. I don't know if I'll scalp. It don't look that bad. Once I clean this up, I think it's actually gonna look pretty good.
Okay guys, so last night my camera died. Not really sure where I left off recording. All I did last night was I cleaned up the glue that was around my edges. Oh, I cut the hair because I really was not feeling the length of the hair anymore. Let me tilt this down a little bit more for you guys. I cut the hair. It's not a perfect blunt cut because I don't really care that much. I just did not want it to be that length anymore um but it doesn't look bad i think it still looks really good so i tried doing the edges with some mousse and now i even remember someone saying in a video that i was watching that mousse can cause the lift to lace can cause to lift to mousse can cause the lift the lace <laughs> why is that a tongue twister mousse can cause the lace to lift so i did that and the lace was sure as hell lifting. So I was really upset. I was over it. And then I tried to tint the part. And it just was like way too orangey. So I took like a cotton ball. And kind of like blended it out. And like removed some of that color. It just was not cute. Like it was not cute at all whatsoever. Yeah I tried doing the edges a little bit. They did get messed up. So I'm going to redo them. And I actually use some eco styler this time. So Hopefully it gives me a different result than the mousse. Mousse is so lightweight, so I'm not worried about the product building up on my edges or anything like that. And I'm not going to do anything too crazy either. But y'all, let me dim this a little because I feel like it's really bright so you can't really see the lace that well. But this is not bad for my very first install. Because last night I was not that optimistic. I was getting aggravated. This side looked really good and... This side looked like trash to me, so I was over it. I was really over it. We're doing much better today, and now I am ready to lay these edges, so let's do that. So I'm going to take some Eco Styler. This is the Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil one. It's just the only one that I have, so I'm just going to use that on the edges. I'm like tapping, tapping very lightly. I don't want to use a whole lot. So I think that looks pretty cute right there. So the way I plan on wearing this wig, I don't really need to do the edges on the side. So I'm not going to. I'm really just going to focus on the top. You just want the front to look good. Just like that. I really like how that looks. That looks so good. I'm so happy y'all because this actually came out so much better than I thought. The way I plan on wearing this wig, I'm just going to put this little piece behind my ear and leave some of this out, right? And then just tuck it behind my ear. And I'm just really going to hope that it's not going to be evil and that it stays. This side is super fucked up, so I really want to make sure that these hairs are covering the part that is messed up. And it's nice and pressed down. This is how I plan on wearing the wig. It looks so good. Dang, I kind of like it without it tucked. I don't know. At least I have the option. But this is what we're looking like. Super cute. Y'all, I'm loving this. I did not know how I was going to like this. If this was going to come out good. But I'm really feeling it, y'all. Like, for someone that said they was never going to wear wigs, like, y'all. I am converted. Like, didn't really take much. Thank you guys so, so, so much for tuning in. I did already buy, like, two more wigs two more better quality wigs so I'm super excited to try those out honestly even though this was really just like a practice run like I just wanted to see if I could do it I really just want to like just go ahead and jump in there and try a better quality wig especially better lace and I just wanted to look a little bit more realistic this is not a bad wig though to practice on or for beginners at all it's not a bad wig at all for that but y'all 
just with how this is looking it's like i need to take it to the next level so that's what we're gonna do so I definitely expect more wig tutorials or videos or me just honestly just attempting to do it because that's really all this is an attempt I am nowhere near professional nowhere near experience so you guys are on this little journey with me like usual thank you again for tuning in for watching and don't forget to subscribe to see more not only wig content but natural hair loose natural hair lot content and i even be doing some clothing hauls too so subscribe like comment do whatever you want to do and i will see you guys next time bye guys